going on guys so we are in the building we're actually going to try to do the pager schedule here we're going to try to do the four videos a day about a bunch of different things uh gig news topics uh making money etc we're going to do some shorts i want to give you guys a little um backstory and the reason why i feel the kind of way i feel right now with the whole catfish christina situation now i don't find myself feeling good even saying the catfish christina situation but i have to add context okay so I actually lost friends. I lost friends because of Christina. You got to understand, every single person that I fell out with, it was, for the most part, circled around Christina, okay, on this channel. Now, you know, you have people who were always haters, still haters. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about, you know, family, like people that I was friends for for years, people that came to the channel before her or was more active, um, showing her face you know, I fell out because of her. Now, I'm not putting all the blame on her because it was my situation. I chose her over these people. And some of these people I've caused beef with. And she just assisted me, assisted on me getting rid of them. But when I look back at my channel, and the reason why I'm excited is because that now that she's gone, I doubt she comes back. My chat is more happy. It's not as chaotic. You know, it's more peaceful. People are supporting a lot more. You know... This is a win for me because I didn't, if I knew that it, it was just me get rid of Christina, I would have been did it because of the fact she lied to me, guys. She lied to me. You got to understand, you know, um, she, it doesn't matter what she looks like. That looking like what she looks like doesn't matter. It's the fact that she fought me every single time I asked her to just come up to make my life simple. Because people are doubting me and people are calling me a simp and losing all these things because you won't cam up and I'm allowing it because you talk so much. And it got to the point that, you know, the manipulation where a few months ago when she first went cam up and I didn't want to work, do business with her, I told her I don't want to do business with you because I don't know who you are, what you are. You know, you could be using your sister's pictures. OK, so that's the reason why I never had her to the back office. But then she made me feel guilty because she told Brandon on that live stream that I'm not even giving her access to do anything. You know, this is a fraud, blah, blah, blah. You know, and this is actually in, I think, January, um, February. So I give her access and she doesn't really do anything. But she makes me feel like I'm victimizing by saying that. Because if you think about it, she didn't help me make no videos. She, yes, came up with topics here and there, but I never did videos on them because they weren't interesting enough. She never posted the clips as I, I thought she was going to do. She never did anything other than moderate the chat. And for the most part, be a yes man to me, you know, just making me feel good about even when I made mistakes about the mistakes I made. And in hindsight, was that good? Not really. But, you know, she was super feminist and she was upset when I talked about the appearance of women and the fact that you fall off the cliff and no man don't want you. It is what it is. I'm sorry. And I see now why she was upset about that and why she was debating me on that because of the fact what's going on. Now, here's the thing. If she would have just been straight up, or even if she, I mean, now I can never trust her. I don't really want her back on the channel because of the fact the past month of her, you know, first off, two months ago, she lied. She told me she was going to come up four different times and she lied. And then she decided to three weeks ago, the start of me and her falling out to try to make me a bad guy and say that I lied about like her coming on like the date stream app to like, you know, live and go live with me to, you know, people on those apps, she lied and tried to say I never, or that she never said she was going to come live. And then she tried to make me out to be a bad person, like I'm a creep. And then um, she then tried to bring up old stuff that I said or did to try to make me out to be a bad guy. And the reason why she doesn't want to come up because of me forcing her to, me trying to do this, me threatening this. And at that point, that made me look nothing but like a scumbag to people because why would I be forcing this woman to cam up? So then, you know, the next week, I told her to just go away. She makes fake accounts, Sabrina and, and the other account, forgot the name of it. Um, but she makes those fake accounts and she starts bashing Maddie and other women on the channel, trying to get them to go away because, you know, Freedom of Speech channel, why she's just hating. And people knew it was Christina and I let it go. But in reality, she was driving everybody away from my channel. She was the biggest drama in, in the chat. And then when she got exposed, I told her straight up, Christina, we, we know you're Sabrina. Like, enough is enough. This is getting old. I literally songed in this woman 
I saw this woman um, to like make her happy to not go away because I felt so horrible because I thought that I was bullying her to like cam up and she said she didn't want to. So I'm like, I don't want her to go. Nobody wants her to go. So I'm going to sing to her and I sung to her two songs and she just sat there all happy and laughing all while her ass knew that she didn't look the way she looked. That's why she didn't want to cam up. Allure. I just reached out to Allure and said sorry. I fell out with Allure because of uh, Christina. I know who Allure is. Kelly, even though I think Kelly is a catfish at this point, I fell out with Kelly because of Christina. You know? I mean, the last live where I, like, bashed her because of, you know, driving a wolf, it was it led up to, like, it was prior to that Christina, which is the reason why I did that with her, because she literally... Um, was beef for Christina. I was just taking Christina's side over, you know, hers ultimately. At least Kelly, she sent pictures that, I mean, might be her, but I mean, she actually turned her camera on and I don't think she's a real person. And at this point, she's not coming on my channel unless she cams up. I'm not having it because she says outrageous stuff that I'm not allowing nobody on my channel to come up unless it showed her face. Now, mind you, if you already been on my channel and I know who you are because you showed your face before, that doesn't go for you. But for new people, unless I do a live that you don't have to cam up, you can just come and be like a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like call in, caller, that's fine. But you still got to show your face so I know you're not going to like flash or something. But in regards to like you coming up talking about big money you're making and you're doing this, you're doing that, I'm not doing that no more because, you know, it's too much catfishing going on in my life. This is the fifth time I've been catfished in my life. And like I said, it ain't about her appearance. But at the same time, you know, when she's talking about, she's like, you know, 5'5", five, five, 110 pounds. You know, she's talking about like th these things that like matters when I'm telling people, I'm lying to people talking about she's a baddie and she's this and she's that. Imagine if this went on two, three more years and then she finally got exposed. I would have looked, my credibility would have went to crap because of that. So... At this point, I don't even know what to say. Other than I'm going to go on live with Coach Eli, and I'm hoping he gives me life advice on get overcoming my tr trust mentality for people that don't show their face, you know, catfish people. I got to stop doing it. I trust everybody. And like I said, I can't rock with Kelly because I don't feel comfortable no more. So if she ever comes back one day, I'm not rocking with her because I feel like she's a catfish too. So... You know, guys, that's the reason why I am the way I am right now, because she literally, for two years, all she had to do was say that, look, I don't look the way I say I look or I want to look. I'm not happy with the way I look. Like, don't judge me. I would not have judged her. She's just family. She's friend. But, you know, she had me in that Brandon bag, low key, to where I was like on live singing to her talking about how she's this and that to try to just make her confident because she's like you got to make me confident give me confidence so i'm talking to her in an unbecoming of my myself way to like make her comfortable enough to come alive like i i did that okay and it sucks that i had to lie to myself to try to make her feel confident to come alive because i'm thinking to myself i got a person that's i'm trying to make the manager who i don't even know what she looks like Okay, I can't trust that, but I wanted to like really have her be the manager. So I did what I had to do and it backfired and smacked me in my face. And it sucks because like I said, I would not have done half the things I did if I knew she was a catfish. Now, if I if she would have just said, hey, I'm this, I'm that, I promise. And I know she's probably going to watch this video. I would have literally forgiven her. I would have said, who cares? And they're like, I'm getting with you. You know, it ain't like, you know, whatever. Um, but because she didn't do that, I don't know. I haven't texted her. I wanted to text her and say, look, it's okay. I know it's messed up. I'm not going to talk about it, but I can't not talk about it because this is a big part of my life. Like you literally, you literally, literally got y'all looking at my TV right here. I broke it, cracked it, fell off the wall. But I literally, you know, played this game my nose is itching guys i'm sorry you know i'm like kind of stuffy even though it's like 90 degrees outside now here's the situation moving forward what do i do i'm going to do this live with eli tonight okay we're going to talk about it i'm putting myself out there because i'm like upset with myself because i keep doing this I keep doing this i keep going in with this situation where i let people who aren't who they are 
live on my channel, live in my life. And you gotta remember, I gotta take back eight to a year of my life that revolved around her pushing everybody away because most of the beef I had was all because of her. Roy, Coach Eli, like freaking everybody looking at me like a joke because I'm literally backing up this catfish person. And you know, Pedro and Hannibal called it when we were on that live stream and she had nothing to say. Her picture was manipulated. She literally either used a picture from 10 years ago or she manipulated that picture, which is why you couldn't find her online. And you know, the thing about it is I don't have, res I just don't have respect. I'm, I'm not gonna, I just can't, like, I can't, like, defend her no more. I can't. It's gonna be talked about because this was a year of my life on my channel. Like, literally, that I was fighting for a catfish. And if she didn't do that the other day, she would have continued. And you know, she's more than likely the person that leaked that video to ruin my relationship. That was for her last ditch chance to try to get with me, I'm assuming. She probably thought that, like, if that came out, Kylie Girl was going to, you know, leave. And then, freaking, she was going to try to come in the pos position to, like, you know, hold it down. Maybe. I don't know. Because why else would it be leaked? And you gotta remember, she put it on her. The reason why, once again, I'm going to say, the reason why I'm talking about this, I'm going to, for next week. Because she literally put that video on her YouTube channel. I mean, on her Discord. She put it on her Discord. She And if she didn't do it, she didn't leak it, she still allowed it to live on her Discord channel. And then she was telling people that I said that Cali Girl smells. She literally did that, which was out of context. Cali Girl, not smell, okay? I was talking about putting perfume on, you know, which it was context behind it, but it was still ignorant to say. But she said that because she was trying to ruin the relationship. And she didn't have any respect for me at that point before she got exposed. So I don't have any respect for her. She's lucky I mean, I'm not putting a picture up on my video. I should put the video, the picture up. But I'm not going to do that, do that because she's a human being and she has feelings, but she didn't care about my feelings when she put that video out on her discord and was telling everybody to go to the discord to see the video. She didn't care. So because you ended our situation in that manner that you put that video out of me, that could have got me canceled from a lot of people if they didn't understand the context of it. Because you did that, I am not. I am not. I'm not helping you. Should have said sorry. You have still haven't said sorry. You literally in text messages said it's my responsibility. It's my fault. Not hurt your fault. Blah blah blah. So at this point, I don't care. You're gonna get exposed by all these people that are gonna continue pulling your picture up. I don't care because you did it to yourself. Because you had an ally. You had a friend. And, you know, you like you, you literally been lying to me for a whole year. For a whole year, you've been lying to me. Two years, really, but just say a year. Like, when I gave that money up to you, like, you could have just said, look, my husband right here, you know, I don't look the way I look. And, like, I got to now go into the bag of, like, work harder. Like, if you don't look the way you want to look, work harder. Like, look, guys. I'm like skinny, I'm a skinny, I'm a stream bean. If I want it to be bigger, if I want to get buff like Thor, then I'm going to go work out. I'm not going to like manipulate my pictures to look like I'm cut and I'm buff. Because when the woman sees me, she's going to be like, yuck, you don't look like this, this is fake. So I'm never going to do that. I'm not going to like change my appearance and lie to people to try to make myself look good. I'm not going to do that. And that's the reason why this is troubling and it's disgusting and it's crappy what I'm dealing with, with this situation. But we're on live tonight with Eli. Okay, we're on tonight with Eli, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific time, West Coast time pretty much. We're live. We're going to talk about overcoming the catfish. Um, people that catfish me, stop being so, I got to stop being so trustworthy. We're going to talk about that. Okay, I fell out with Eli because of Christina and um, I remember he called and he said, this ain't her real self. She's really this person. And I'm like, nope, you're not going to talk to, to her this way, blah, blah, blah. I lost out on money because of this woman. And you, to think that she didn't even appreciate that I gave her money. I, I shouldn't have gave her no super chats. After I gave driving a wolf and, you know, I gave them that money, which I have no issue with driving a wolf. No issue no more. I got to do the thumbnail actually for that man. Okay, I got to put that out. But after I give that money up, I'm not giving nobody super chat money no more. I'm not doing 50-50 splits. No, I'm not doing none of that. Because people don't appreciate it. Because everybody that I gave super chat money to, other than one individual, have not appreciated super chat money. 
enough to like be honest with me, not to be fake in other chats being fake. I'm just tired of fake people. People that are like literally try to act like they're cool in your face, but then the moment that they can throw a shot at you, they throw the shot. I'm tired of it. Because I haven't done anything to you for, for you guys to treat me that way, for you to disrespect me that way, for you to try to make me out to be that that person that deserves this, you know, disrespect. Not done it. So with that said, you know, we're gonna move forward with this. I'm going to focus on, you know, me, my channel growth, working, grinding, doing these YouTube videos four times a day. We're trying to hit the um Pedro schedule, okay? Of videos. So I got this video, I'm going to do another video that's going to talk about the money. And that video is coming up in about a half an hour from this video. But with that said, guys, um, I'm going to actually do some member-only videos. So this is how it works. When I do a member-only video, I'm going to do three minutes of the video for public, but the rest of the video is going to be member-only. Okay, and today we're going to talk about, on the member-only uh, video, we're going to talk about my first time going into a gay club. Okay, going into a gay club, we're going to talk about that. Um, that's an interesting story. I know some of y'all heard it already, but I'm going to tell you guys the whole situation of how this happened. And then with that said, hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. That's all I got. I'm out. Peace.